Um, about a year ago, we were doing a cabaret that was very lovey-dovey and sweet, which is not my style, and I wanted to do something in which I could sing Mary Prankster's Mercy Fuck. So that's how it started. And then we all decided we were going to do rock songs that were kind of brash and bold, and and there we have it. And we had our director, Tony Ray Brotons, um, you know, kind of help us select all the songs, and we came up with a story and it was that was the kind of interesting part is that the story came out of the songs it wasn't something that we like wrote beforehand and then picked songs for it right. i have to admit we asked for the tent this year even in our application because we knew this was the kind of show that would be really great to have at the tent where everybody was drinking beer and like enjoying themselves we had, we had a show our first show that we did for fringe um two years ago uh was a uh was called freak show and it was a great show for the tent in as much of a, a set, but it was a quiet drama, and we kept complaining that the people who were having a great time drinking outside in the tent were drowning us out. So this year we actually asked to have it, because we knew that would not be a problem anymore. So we got a heat wave instead. So we got a heat wave instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One of... Yeah, we're getting filmed. Come here. Tony. Here's our director, all right, all right, Tony. who's Getting probably outraged that we are sitting here. Yeah. The discovery for me was it was harder to direct and perform at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, because I was so into helping, you know, the, the other three that I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to do my, I have to do my own stuff. So that was, that was difficult. Not that I wouldn't do it again, but it was, that was rough at times for me. Tony bit me during one of the shows, and then she did it again. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Sharon. She's, she's not the only one who improvs. <laughs> it was hot. <laughs>